Hey y'all, my name is Martin Malilu and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. Today, we're gonna talk about rocks, the rock cycle, and then we're gonna do an activity where we create some rocks of our own. All right, so let's start by talking about the three types of rocks, all right? So we have igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks, all right? So let's start with igneous rocks. So igneous rocks are the result of lava cooling, all right? So all the stuff that comes up through a volcano and then it's magma, right? So it comes out through a volcano, it's hot, it's lava, and then it cools off when it touches water or air, and then it becomes an igneous rock. The second type of rock we're gonna talk about is sedimentary rock. So sedimentary rock is called sedimentary rock because it is a collection of sediments. Uh, so uh, a common example of this might be limestone or sandstone, and you can see uh, often the different layers of sediment in the rock that it's collected along the way. And oftentimes these rocks are found by bodies of water like oceans or rivers uh, because the rocks have been carried along and they gather sediment that way. So the third type of rock we're gonna talk about is metamorphic rocks. So metamorphic rocks are the result of rocks coming into contact with high pressure or high heat. All right, so that compresses the rock and then we get things like quartzite or uh, marble. So now that we know about the three types of rocks, you might think that igneous always turns into sedimentary, which always turns into metamorphic, which always turns back into igneous, but that's not always the case. You might have a metamorphic rock that suddenly is under the right conditions to become a sedimentary rock, or you might have an igneous rock that turns into a metamorphic rock, which then comes back into me an igneous rock again. Um, so while it is a cycle, it's not necessarily a circle that is just always predictable. It depends on what circumstances these rocks uh, encounter. All right, so now we're gonna do an activity where we make a metamorphic rock magnet. Um, mine ended up being a little bit big. Um, so as you're following along with my instructions, yours might end up being a different size, and that's not an issue. Um, just as long as your magnet is strong enough to support your rock. Um, you also might be using a different material than I am, and if that's the case, again, you might wanna take into consideration uh, how big your magnet is and whether or not it can support your rock. So uh, let's go ahead and make a metamorphic rock magnet. All right, so for our activity, uh, we're going to make this metamorphic rock. And um, so for this activity, you're gonna need two different colors of clay. Uh, I have this model magic here. I have red and yellow. Um, you're going to need glue and then a magnet, because we're gonna make it a magnet so you can stick it to your fridge. Uh, and then I have scissors to trim my magnet down, but if your magnet's already the right size, you won't need that. All right, so um, with these uh, things of Model Magic, we're just gonna use half, all right? So we need half of each of these. This one's already open, so uh, I already just gonna grab half of that out of there. It's already been halved, so this is about half of uh, what it is. All right, so that's about the size you want. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open this yellow. And then I'm gonna cut this one in half. You don't have to cut it, you can just pull it in half. All right, so I've got my two bits right here. And now I'm just going to work them together. I don't wanna work them too intensely because if you look at marble, you can see the different, uh, you see like a bunch of little patterns in it, right? So I don't want these to be one solid color. I want them to be a nice mixture of two colors. So I'm gonna pull this apart. I'm gonna make it look real good. All right. So I don't wanna do it too fast because again, I want it to be, uh, I want it to look good. I want it to look like a real uh, metamorphic rock. All right, so uh, I can stop there or I can keep going. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit, I think. I'm gonna squish it around a little bit more. 
Let's see how that looks when I roll it up. You can make it whatever shape you want it to be. Um, all right, I think this is good right here. I'm gonna make it a little more round. All right, so I think this looks good right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do before it dries is I'm going to pick a side that I want to be the back. Oh, we got some cat hair on here. Um, and uh, I want this to be the back because this is kind of the boring side, I think. I think this side looks much cooler than this side. Um, I can hold it up a little bit. Uh, so this is the side I want in the front. And this is the side I'm gonna make the back. So I'm gonna take my finger and kind of just make a little flat spot right here. And then I'm going to, uh, since my magnet is not the right size, I'm gonna cut out a little section for it. And then uh, I'm just gonna glue my magnet right here. All right, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller actually. You want it to be big enough to hold your rock too. Um, so don't make it too small. All right, and you also want to make sure that the magnet sticks out, right? So you don't want it to be recessed in there, otherwise it won't stick to whatever you stick it to, right? So I'm gonna throw some white glue on there, stick this on here, and then once that dries, I have my uh, metamorphic rock magnet. I hope that you enjoyed learning about rocks today and I hope that you check out some of the resources that we have available about rocks and then you can start identifying some rocks that you see outside. Um, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the uh, videos that we put out and uh, click the link in the description to take a survey to let us know how, what you thought about this program. Bye for now.